Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Tech Tip from Structsoft Solutions. My name is Hannah, and today I will be talking about MWF and wall opening types. As you may already know, MWF recognizes architectural model elements, such as walls, floors, roofs, and ceilings, and will frame around openings, such as windows, doors, wall openings, floor openings, and shafts. Today, we will be focusing on wall openings in particular. We will talk about which types of openings are supported by MWF and which types of openings will need workarounds. As you can see, I have opened an empty Revit file and have only placed a wall. I have already loaded LGS data and I will be placing different types of openings. We're going to see how MWF interacts with these different types of openings. I've already placed a door opening and I'm going to place an out of the box Revit window. Now I'm just going to place an opening, a regular wall opening. Let's assume that there's a duct over here somewhere and we want to create an opening for that duct. Now we have a door opening, a window opening, and a wall opening. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to choose a regular out-of-the-box template. I'm going to go to Project, Light Gauge, and Create. I have framed this wall with the basic MWF settings without making any changes to the opening types and without placing any opening markers. You'll notice that MWF was able to recognize that it has to frame around these three elements. However, there are some rules that we must follow. So let's double click on this family and talk about these rules. First of all, this should not be a generic family. MWF does not support generic model openings. MWF only supports instant parameters for height and width of doors and windows. These need to be type parameters. Width, height, and rough dimensions should be accurately represented in families. In the case that you're not using a Revit out-of-the-box family and have to create your own family from scratch. You need to make sure that you place center of lines of families in the middle of families. MWF will frame around openings based on the middle or center used as an insertion point. In the front view, Window insertion points should be at the bottom. To read more about how to set up your model, if you go to MWF Tutorials, under General, how to properly set up your model, if you scroll down, you can read more about how to properly verify doors and window types. Remember that if you have a family that is not symmetrical, you will need to add a reference plane to the center of origin. Now let's talk about cases where edit profile has been used for the wall. Wall constraints are also overridden by editing the profile. In the case that an opening has been created using the edit profile command, MWF will, will not recognize this as an opening. Let's try that. If I were to add an opening right now using Edit Profile, and if I try to frame this using MWF, you'll notice that the software has framed through the opening. It did not recognize that as an opening. Another case I wanted to talk about today would be the case of using curtain walls. So let's place this curtain wall within this wall here, and let's try to frame it. You'll notice that in this case, MWF was able to frame around it. However, notice what happens when I treat this curtain wall and make it behave like a window. You'll notice that MWF will not recognize it and will frame through it.
So this concludes this week's tech tip. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.